Solana, Kingdom of Illumination Legends speak of blessed pilgrims from a distant land, drawn to wraith by the will of soul. Upon sacred ground they built Solana, a shining kingdom that would stand eternal against the shadow. The city has stood tall for thousands of years, thriving under the guidance of devout scholars and wizards of light. Knights and Templars patrol its walls, defending it from those who would trespass against its divine purpose. One day, the light of soul will radiate throughout the land and bring its blessings to all of humanity. A Radiant Kingdom At the center of Wraith lies Solana, a radiant beacon of hope in a world on the brink of chaos. Beyond its grand gates is a beautiful city of marble and stone, beloved to all the faithful and righteous people that call it home. Once a small township, the wisdom of soul has guided the city throughout the ages, all for soul's divine purpose. Now a mighty kingdom, the most powerful in the land, its people seek to spread the glory and teachings of soul throughout Wraith, and unite humanity under a single banner. Beyond the city is darkness, crime, corruption, greed, and all manner of evil. Worst of all, a jungle of monsters and beasts to the west desecrate the land with their putrid existence. It seems everywhere one looks there is nothing but corruption and despair, a dark stain on the hearts of man that spreads like poison. But there is still hope. Hope in the Solanians, hope for a future of redemption and salvation. The Golden City At the center of Wraith stands a magnificent city, towering over the golden fields that surround it. Its shining walls reflect the light of the sun, gleaming brightly while knights clad in silver and gold patrol its borders. In the fields beyond, villagers lie tucked amongst the fertile plains, safe under the watchful gaze of their protector. This is the kingdom of Solana, a beacon of hope amongst the darkness of the world. Those that pass through its grand gates discover an extraordinary city built to exemplify the divine majesty of soul. From wall to shining wall, its stone streets are lined with cheerful homes and vaulted rooftops, colorful banners swaying in the gentle breeze. At the heart of the city, a massive series of towers rise above the streets below, the magnificent Solarium, prized jewel of Solana. The city's elegance and symmetry are apparent to all who enter. Beyond its eight imposing gates, lie eight city sectors with eight grand walkways leading through the city to the amphitheater at its very core. It was built in accordance with soul's divine will, imbued with magical wards to protect all who call it home. Solarium At the heart of the city lies the Solarium, a massive complex of shining towers that rise above the streets of Solana. Constructed long ago from the finest materials, it stands eternal, a timeless reminder of soul's glory. Cast in white and gold, it remains visible from every corner of the city and can be seen from far beyond the golden fields. Every street leads to the solarium and to the massive amphitheater at its core, a space for all Solanians to gather to hear the word of soul. There are even those that travel from distant lands in the hopes of witnessing the grandeur of the Solarium. Between the Solarium and the rest of the city, a wide spread of gardens encircle the radiant towers in a blanket of vibrant colors. The people of Solana frequently visit the gardens, walking amongst the trees and enjoying the many plants that grow along its borders. From grand, tall trees of verdant green to striking, vibrant purple flowers, the gardens are a burst of color against the brilliant, shining white of the solarium. Almost any plant in Wraith can be found within Solana's gardens, including restorative herbs and ingredients for spell work carefully cultivated by the light of soul. Amphitheater down the length of the great hall, beneath vaulted arches, stands a great open door. 
Within, a massive structure of pale marble and shining stone, the amphitheater. Located at the heart of the solarium, it is a welcome sight for all who would seek out the wisdom of soul. Even standing at the highest level of the amphitheater, one can still clearly hear the words spoken at its ground floor. Through the magic of soul, the Grand Magister can address his people, heard clearly by all who gather. At noon, when the sun is at its apex, it floods the amphitheater with light, rising high above the heads of those who have gathered within. Signorus Hidden beneath the earth is a massive vault, guarded by both physical defenses and powerful wards. Throughout history, many ancient artifacts have surfaced, and since the time of the first Grand Magister, Solana has been retrieving these items and keeping them safe from those who might use them for nefarious purposes. The Signoris remains a well-guarded secret, known only to the highest-ranking members of the Light of Soul. Library of Illumination those seeking knowledge travel to Solana for the sole purpose of visiting the Library of Illumination, a vast library located at the base of the Solarium. A grand sight, the floor is constructed from lustrous marble with floor-to-ceiling shelves containing thousands of tomes and volumes, as well as bound parchments authored by the scholars of Solana. Great mosaics decorate the floors, depicting the history of Solana and its people. Massive statues stand in a semicircle at the center of the main foyer, depicting the five grand magisters in ivory and gold, their impassive masks silently watching the scholars working below. Any Solanian can enter and read the tomes found within the library, which include Solanian history, and information on the various districts of Solana. It also houses public records, such as family trees or details on significant individuals. Great tables line the hallways of the Library of Illumination, with spaces for any visitors to read and study. Travelers visiting Solana from beyond the city are also welcome to spend time here. The lower levels of the library, however, are located beneath the earth and are only available to members of the Light of Soul. Order of the Light The Light is the lifeblood of Solana, a radiant energy born of soul. It is knowledge, wisdom, and integrity. It is valor and loyalty. The light guided Solana's founders to the shores of Wraith. It showed them where to build their home. It is what protects the city from the shadows. Solana is blessed by the splendor of Sol, a radiant figure that has guided Solana to become the shining example for all of Wraith to follow. The Order of the Light was born of these ancestors, noble men and women who seek to spread Sol's blessing and watch over the people of Solana. The Light of Sol is comprised of scholars, those born with the connection to light magic, studying spells in order to help their fellow man. The Hand of Sol are Solana's warriors, dedicated to protecting and watching over their people. Seekers and Scholars Every scholar first starts their training as a seeker, chosen by soul to fulfill a divine purpose. Their affinity with the light gives them an incredible gift, a spark that can be cultivated into light magic, the very essence of soul's blessings. A seeker's training begins with academia, studying the history of Solana and learning arithmetic. Once the first eight years of training are completed, seekers graduate and become acolytes and begin working in the Library of Illumination. In addition to clerical duties, organization, and recording information, acolytes will study light magic and begin the delicate process of developing and training their magical abilities. It can take up to 20 years for an acolyte to become a scholar, depending entirely on their talent, skill, and dedication. The Light of Soul There are over 30,000 scholars in the Light of Soul. Trained in light magic, they study ether and the doctrine of soul in order to spread the blessings of the light. 
Scholars are the lifeline of the kingdom, providing a variety of services to their people. Many scholars work within the Library of Illumination, recording and preserving information for future generations. Working in the library is considered a great honor, as their work serves to preserve the history and the very soul of Solana. Some scholars will go on to contribute their own works to the library, expanding a vast collection of original manuscripts. Other scholars may journey outside the city walls, working alongside knights from the Hand of Soul and joining the parties in their expeditions and patrols. Some scholars help to maintain sigils and protective wards around the city. Some act as healers within the community, aiding the sick and injured. Others work as teachers, instructing both seekers and acolytes within the Light of Soul and trainees in the Hand of Solana. The role of academic teachings for the modicus, or trade and craft professions in Solana, generally falls to acolytes. The Light of Soul also includes chancellors and archons who represent the myriad of districts and sectors throughout Solana. While all members of the Light of Soul are beloved to their city, Archons command incredible respect from their people, as each represents a single district within Solana. Archons have a unique connection to the people they represent, and are well loved by their charges. Solanians see their Archon not only as a messenger of soul, but as a guardian to watch over them and guide them through their everyday lives. In the event that an Archon is chosen to become a Magister, the celebration within their district can last for days at a time. Magisters are the guiding light of Solana, the champions specifically chosen to execute the will of Sol. There are eight Magisters, each representing one section of the city. Their ornate masks mark them as messengers of soul, who work to deliver the word of soul to the city as important messengers of Solana's Grand Council. Grand Magisters The Grand Magister is an extraordinary individual, chosen by soul to lead the Grand Council and guide the people of Solana. They serve as an exemplar not only for their own people, but for all of Wraith, the embodiment of soul made manifest in physical form. It is their role to ensure the well-being of Solana through soul's blessings, guiding their people along the path to illumination and a brighter future. The Grand Magister acts as the outstretched hands of soul, a custodian of Solana in the name of the light. They are not only a leader to their people, but their caretaker, their herald, and their mentor. There have been five Grand Magisters throughout the history of Solana. Each is bestowed a title that represents their vision for the people of Solana. The first Grand Magister, the Devout, established the Grand Council and helped to grow the light of Solana. The second, the Adamant, defended Solana from vile invaders. The third, the Radiant, established a reign of growth and prosperity for their people. The fourth, the Beloved, was known for their kindness and compassion, working to guide all of Wraith into the light. Finally, the fifth and current Grand Magister, known as the Steadfast, have shown themselves to be wise and firm. Five great statues stand within the Library of Illumination, each one depicting one of the Grand Magisters. The Grand Council the Grand Council is a divine assembly which represents the pinnacle of human existence, its members hand-selected by soul from amongst the light and hand of soul. Paragons of virtue, they embody Solana's divine purpose to elevate humanity above the reach of the shadows. The members of the Grand Council serve not only to lead Solana, but to inspire the Children of the Light in their journey toward illumination, and seek to strengthen their relationship with Sol. The Grand Council is led by the Grand Magister, comprised of all eight Magisters and a selection of Archons and Templars. All matters of state pass into the hands of the Grand Council, who ensure the continued happiness and well-being of their people and of Solana as a whole. Gathering in the inner sanctum that floats above the amphitheater, the Grand Council makes decisions on behalf of Solana. The Hand of Soul 
The Hand of Sol is Solana's order of warriors who defend the city from outside threats. While all knights of the Hand of Sol call Solana home, they frequently travel outside the city walls, scouting for threats, collecting information, and watching over the settlements beyond Solana. The Hand of Sol is comprised of five different ranks. Trainee, Squire, Knight, Lieutenant, and Templar. The Hand of Sol travels in parties, which range from smaller parties of eight to the largest war brigades with 64 members. However, most parties travel with between 10 and 14 members. Each party of knights is led by a Templar and Lieutenant and accompanied by a Scholar from the Light of Sol. Squires, during their training, will join smaller parties of 8 to 10. These parties travel the fields outside of Solana, checking on outlying villages and patrolling the golden fields beyond the city walls. Most knights in the Hand of Sol prefer armor with a mixture of plate and chainmail, providing a strong defense while still allowing a fair amount of mobility. While knights typically wear simpler armor, Templars and lieutenants wear armor with more ornate designs, with engraving and gold embellishments to show their dedication to Sol. Parties traveling outside the walls commonly bear standards, proudly displaying their connections to Solana. All knights in the Hand of Sol take great pride in their role and dedicate themselves fully to serving their people, their city, and the glory of Sol. Templars Among the Hand of Sol, none are more exceptional than the Templars, who are hand-chosen by magisters to serve a higher purpose. Once anointed, they are gifted a new suit of armor and a unique mask to show their wholehearted devotion to the glory of Sol. Every knight in the Hand of Sol aspires to one day become a Templar and make their people proud. When a Templar passes through the gates, they draw stares of admiration from onlookers as they embody the iron will of Sol. Templars serve not only as leaders, but as an example for all of Solana to follow. They guide their parties to glory, watching over the warriors in their charge, and working to protect their home and their people. Aside from the duties within the Hand of Sol, a number of older Templars also serve Solana within the Grand Council, helping the Grand Magister to guide their people. Gemini There are rumors of a secret branch within Solana, neither hand nor light of soul, but somewhere else entirely. These mysterious individuals, often born outside the walls of Solana, help to gather information from around Wraith, traveling undercover and completing their missions in total secrecy. It is said that this group functions to serve where the knights cannot and aid Solana in whatever form is necessary. If the rumors are true, they are yet to be proven. To be a Solanian The people of Solana honor Sol in every aspect of their lives, from the young to the old, scholars to farmers, from those who live within its walls to those who live beyond. All rejoice under the infinite wisdom and glory of Sol. Solanians take great pride in upholding Sol's will, believing that they are Sol's divine emissaries. Each Solanian must act with courage and honor as they are the living embodiments of Sol. Carrying the glory of Sol within their hearts, they seek to spread the teachings of the light to the rest of humanity and welcome any who seek out the blessings of Sol. All who fully embrace Sol's light are welcomed by the people of Solana as one of their own. Those still on the path to illumination are instead given a place among Solana's outer villages. These settlements, as well as any community that would embrace Sol's divine light, are granted protection by the power of Solana. Children of the Light while all those who accept soul into their hearts shall receive soul's blessings, only those who have fully eradicated the darkness within can be known as children of the light. 
These are the true Solanians, citizens who live within the city walls, many of whom are descendants of the original founders of Solana. Villages and towns beyond the city walls are home to those who once lived outside of Sol's guidance, but chose to welcome Sol's light into their hearts. With time, they may work toward true illumination, and their children may one day be accepted into the city proper and given a home within the city walls. The Awakening When a child of Solana turns eight years old, an Archon will come to lead them to a room within the Solarium in order to conduct the Awakening Ceremony. This sacred space is filled with items from ancient tomes to swords and shields, smithing hammers to aprons and looms. Every trade and profession in Solana is represented within. Once the ceremony begins, one of the items within the room will resonate with soul's light and begin to glow, revealing the child's divine purpose. Many families within Solana have passed down their trades through the generations, honing their craft through Soul's divine guidance. First Grand Magister The First Grand Magister of Solana was known as the Devout for their dedication and service to the glory of Soul. Under the guidance of the Devout, construction of the city began, starting with what is now known as the Library of Illumination. The Grand Magister decreed that knowledge was sacred to Sol and that Solana could not become a grand kingdom without first becoming a well-educated one. The devout sent out scholars to gather ancient tomes and scrolls from all over Wraith and founded the Grand Council to help manage the growing city. The devout also called for the construction of a wall to protect the city designed to combine physical defense with magical wards and sigils. This wall would be the beginning of Solana's transformation into a grand and wondrous kingdom. Solana owes its strength and splendor to the wisdom and dedication of the first Grand Magister, who believed that their people could one day save all of Wraith from the shadows. Solstice of Laurels A ceremony for the Hand of Sol taking place once a year. During the solstice, older squires are promoted to full knights, while others are promoted to higher roles within the Hand of Sol. The solstice begins with a great procession of knights, making their way from the outer walls of Solana to the Solarium, where the ceremony takes place. It is common for Solana to receive visitors in the days leading up to the solstice who travel from far and wide to witness the ceremony. Whether Solanian or visitor, all marvel at the sight of noble knights marching, resplendent in ceremonial armor. <laughs>